Have you ever seared off a nice steak in a cast iron? No. No? I've never made a steak in my life. Oh, okay. This is a two pound bone-in ribeye. To go with that, we have a warm German potato salad, plus we're doing a blood orange chocolate pot de creme. You put it all together and you got a pretty romantic meal. I'll say. Okay, you ready to get going? <laughs> okay, Dan, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the steak marinating. Great. So what that means is we're really just gonna season it with salt, rub it with some aromatics, and then put it aside. Well, how much salt do you think we're gonna need to, to season it with? Looks like a two pincher. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna probably use somewhere closer to this. Okay, so the whole bowl. Yeah, exactly. Right. We also have all our aromatics here that we're gonna rub in. So I'm gonna let you rub these in. Just rub? Just rub it in. Exactly. You gotta get it just... Is it sensual this, enough? Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. You gotta massage it in. The salt is gonna pull out the flavors of the aromatics. It's gonna infuse with that steak and make it super flavorful. Okay, so now we're gonna get into dessert. Have you ever had a pot de creme before? I don't even know what it is. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so a pot de creme, think of it like a mixture of like a chocolate truffle and chocolate pudding. Okay. Have you ever had a blood orange? I have, yeah. Okay, wonderful. So I'm gonna grate this in here. Meanwhile, you're gonna get to work. We have six egg yolks, half a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna whisk them together until they've reached ribbon stage. Looks like we're, are we almost there? No. All right, let's see. There we go, you see? That is ribbon stage. So now the cream mixture is coming up to a simmer, so we're gonna add some of it to the eggs to temper it. Got it. So I'm just gonna ladle some in while you're gonna whisk. Beautiful. So once that's whisked smooth, we're gonna dump it right in. All right. So now we just have this egg mixture, and we're cooking this over medium heat until it's nappe consistency. So you wanna keep the spoon moving, or else okay. you're gonna get scrambled eggs. Got it. Okay, so we have our nappe custard which is perfect, so now we're gonna add it right over the chocolate. Say, is that a BPA-free uh, blender? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Now, if one was impatient, you can consume... You could technically eat this right now as it... Yeah. Yeah? That's pretty killer. Cool, so let's pop these in the fridge and then we'll get on to the next thing. So now we're gonna get into the side dish. So while okay. the steak is marinating and the pot crumbs are chilling, we're gonna make the warm German potato salad. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil, mm -hmm. cook potatoes until they're tender, and then we're gonna pull those out and drop in some green beans. And then we're okay. just gonna blanch those until they're nice and vibrant, green and tender. Wooden spoon, we're gonna start with the shallots. So why don't you drop them in the pan and start cooking them. Perfect. So you, what you do want to do is you want to give it a little zhuzh. Is zhuzh a culinary term? Zhuzh is a French word. You could also do it to your hair. You can zhuzh. Just about anything. Bro, give it a little zhuzh. A little zhuzh. A little, zhuzh. A little zhuzh. At this point, I'd say you're good to add your garlic and your potatoes. And my favorite part about this is as the potatoes are crisping up, it's also frying the garlic and the shallots. All right, and we're gonna season it. I'll let you do the honors. Don't go crazy. And this is done. The best part is, is that this is gonna hold. So we're gonna keep this on the side while we finish off the dinner. And what we have here is oil and butter. We need to get a nice sear on this, so the pan needs to be very hot. So the first thing, is the sound. You can hear the sizzle. That's how you know the pan is the right temperature. When you have such a thick steak, we want to get both sides, but we're going to also try to get all the edges. And the more sear you get, just the better it is. Okay, so we're gonna flip it. Are you ready? Oop, sorry about that. Would you like to take over? Sure. Beautiful. So at this point, we're gonna baste it. Like I'm just scooping water over the baby's head in the bath. There you go. We'll let that sit. Meanwhile, we're gonna finish the rest of our dishes. We're gonna warm up this. We're gonna grab the pot of crumbs and we're gonna have a meal. So how's the steak looking for you? It's looking excellent. And I don't, I, you know, I don't really know much about steak, but I know that looks well cooked. So. <laughs> How many pieces of steak do you think Margaret wants? Two. Two? We'll give her four. Why'd you even ask? And the last little touch on top of the potato salad is some more fresh chopped parsley. So dinner's ready. Now we're gonna finish up those pot de crumbs and you're gonna be all set for Valentine's Day. Great. Okay. So what I have is a little bit of whipped marscapone and some candied blood orange wheels. This is so easy. It's just a nice little topping to add even more creaminess to these already creamy pot de crumbs. See that? It's not clearly as good as yours. No, but it's, it, was, it wasn't bad. That's a beautiful doll. Oh man, that, that was, was almost great. as good as yours. That was great. Candied orange wheel. One of my favorite things to do with citrus, something to just keep in my pantry. And I add just like the prettiest little garnish. All right, what do we do now? You're gonna eat with Margaret. Say. Intro, Margaret. This is the one that your boyfriend plated himself. 
<laughs> demonstration of no trust. <laughs> that is delicious. You guys did a great job. Thanks, Jake.